Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Crisp Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat and today in this video, I'm going to share and showcase a copper cube project file which contains a big 3D flashlight, a splash screen and a floor level. So, this is how the level look like. It is a building floor with some rooms. As you can see, uh, some of the rooms has blue floor and some of them has green floor tiles and we also have staircase here and if i go to our root 3d c node and turn on the fog you will notice the room is now darker because i have used black as fog color and if I test the application by pressing this play button here or publish as Windows EXE, it will play a splash screen powered by CopperCube 3D. And the level has been started with the flashlight in our hand. As you can see, as we approach it towards the object, the vision becomes more clear or the objects are more visible but we can also use flashlight in order to see at some distance so as you can see the wall is now not visible but if i press f the flashlight is now turned on and the wall is a bit visible and it is a 3d flashlight as you can see it is also show, showing on the right side of the wall and on the left side as a, on the wall so if I go here like this, then you will notice that it is also lighting the staircase and the lighting the wall of the room. So here we have the staircase. And in order to increase the visibility or to make, to make the flashlight more bright or smoggy we can go to behavior attached to this cone mesh go to its action i have attached two action to the if a variable has a value do something behavior and the first one is swap a specific color of a c node with new color which is a shader action and i am changing black color with something else so let me just increase this by 10 so instead of 7, I'm going to use 17 here for the RGB values. If I hit OK and test the application now. It will show the splash screen again. Powered by Copper Cube 3D, which is also animated. And as you can see, we can't see this windows from a far distance but if i press f then we are able to see this win these windows and other walls or doors from a very far distance as compared to the previous flashlight brightness or something like that but it also makes the flashlight more smoggy or more foggy as you can see and as it is a 3d flashlight or fake 3d flashlight it has some major drawback as you can see the circumference of this flashlight has some distortion because the 3d cone mesh that i have used for the flashlight is culling through the wall so if I go here and change the material type to solid and turn off the fog for a moment so that we can see the cone mesh clearly. So if I go here to the flashlight, you can see we have our cone mesh. Let me change the black color to white so that it will be. Or maybe change it to gray so that it will be more visible. So you can see the length of the cone is really high. 
as compared to the level so that we can see at much more distance so this is how i set up the flashlight with a transparent add as a material and black as a texture for this material and then i have used the shader action to swap specific color which is black to something else you can change the looseness and other settings the shader action provides you and let's just change it to something like 10 But as the application now, it will be less brighter. We can see at much more distance. I can still see those windows, but if I press F, they are completely gone. So they are dark. So this is how you can create a fake 3D flashlight and I'm going to share the link for this project file in the description down below. You can download the copper cube project file for free and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe and leave your feedback in the comments down below. Uh, good night. Bye bye. Take care. Peace out.